Michigan Democratic Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin, who is also running for the Senate, joins me now. Congresswoman, thanks so much for being with us. So holding the caucus together was a big test for Hakeem Jeffries. Uh, Nancy Pelosi reportedly told him, don't bail out McCarthy. How did it play behind the scenes? What was the tipping point for you? I mean, I think the the most important thing, and Kevin McCarthy has been the first person to say this, is he didn't come to Democrats wanting to make a deal. He didn't come to us with any proposals. He didn't ask for our help. And, and frankly, even folks who have, you know, those of us who have quite close relationships with some on the other side were kind of waiting for him to deal. And that's not where he was. So I, I think the, the idea that um, this is somehow the, the Democrats who um, should have bailed him out when he didn't come with a deal, I don't know one person on their side who would have, who would have done that. So uh, I, there wasn't really a tipping point. I think um, for many of us, um, it just came down to can we trust him? You know, if he if he says he's going to do X, Y, and Z for our support, can we trust him? Do we think that he really wants to govern? And and we just didn't. We had a massive trust deficit there. And how much of that was the way he behaved in the recent days and weeks regarding the spending, going back on the deal from July, the debt ceiling, as well yeah. as you know the last forty eight hours, frankly. Yeah, I think certainly going back on the deal. Um, but then, you know, he finally did bring a continuing resolution to the floor, but more Democrats voted to keep the government open than the Republicans. So if I'm Speaker of the House and I just depended on Democrats to pass a bipartisan bill for the good of the country, then I wouldn't turn around the next day and try to blame Democrats for the situation that he was in. I think that, that to me, um, just demonstrated character more than anything. And I, you know, I know that whoever will be the next Speaker of the House on the Republican side won't be someone who I will agree with on a lot of things, but just tell it to us straight. You know, if you want us, if you need our help to pass a bill, let's talk about that and have a conversation, but then don't turn around and, and slap the people who just helped to pass legislation. Was the impeachment, impeachment also part of it? I think impeachment, I heard a lot of people, you know, certainly for me, January 6th, you know, we were sitting here at a, at a building that was largely taken over by people um, who came in an armed insurrection. And actually, early on, he was one of the first people who came out and said, this is absolutely unacceptable. We need an inquiry. We need to do something about this. And two weeks later, he flipped and spent the next year trying to cozy up to the man who incited that insurrection. That's a character issue for me. And uh, I think if, if he had just said, look, I disagree and we're going to just play straight on this, it would have been a different conversation. And there are, are Republicans on the other side of the aisle who I think would have handled that differently. McCarthy says that Nancy Pelosi promised to support him if he faced a challenge. And now within an hour or so, she's losing her Capitol office. Is this petty retribution or do Republicans have a point? They need the space now. I think it's pettiness. I also think it's not really that important to the American people. I mean, I, it, it, you know, obviously it was out of anger. I think there's a lot of things being said and done out of anger right now. Um, and just I think it's good that people took a break, went home, let cooler heads prevail so that we can get through, get a new speaker and get on to keeping the government open and doing the government's business. But you're losing time. You've only got about 42 days left. The UAW strike isn't settled. You've got, you know, your home in Michigan, of course, uh, which is a huge issue. Plus, you're a former Pentagon official, and the Ukraine funding is critical. Yeah, I mean, I think the UAW, UAW conversation is separate and will continue on a separate track. I think the Ukraine funding, I think keeping the government open um, in, you know, on no, after November 17th are real issues. Um, and that's why, look, we're, we're waiting to see what comes out of the Republican caucus on a new speaker. I mean, I, I, um, they're, they're having meetings, you're reporting on them, and that's a positive thing so that we can get through this. Um, but also Washington works on deadlines. And my hope is that the threat of a deadline um, keeps this process moving smartly.